So do you love cold brew coffee? Do you like convenience? Hey coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Earlier this year, I got a sneak peek of the amazing Jura Z10. And I'll share that with you in a minute as we make and taste some drinks. Of course, this premium level automatic bean to cup machine makes all your hot specialty coffee beverage favorites. What's amazing with the Z10 is the cold brew coffee and espresso using Jura's cold extraction process and the product recognizing grinder, which allows you to program a grind size based on the drink being made. Exclusive features you're not going to find on any other machine. You know, cold brew is smooth and flavorful. It's never bitter. And the Z10 makes both cold brew coffee and espresso for delicious cold milk-based espresso beverages. Join me and Gabby from Jura and get to know the Z10 as we make and taste cold brew espresso, a cold brew flat white, and a colorful fresh espresso, a surprisingly smooth and refreshing drink combining orange juice and cold brew espresso. Hey, we're here at Jura today. I'm with Gabby. Gabby, hey, thanks so much for having us. We got thanks something for really coming. cool to look at. Yes, Mark, I'm always excited to have you, but I'm especially excited today to show you our new Z10. Well, you always bring me in when you got something really special. And what's going on now? You said Z10. I'm going to say Z10. Yes, um, both go, are correct. Both are correct. <laughs> but what's really special here? What are we going to take a look at today? So, you know, Jura is always known for brewing hot beverages, and now we have the option to do both hot and cold specialties. So, I'm really excited to show you this unique process from Jura. Um, but again, that cold brew process that's really trending right now. So, this is not iced coffee. This is cold, cold brew. brew. And yes. there is a huge difference if. There if is a difference. So yes. let's get one going, right? Yep, let's get started. So we'll go ahead and do an espresso first. Thanks for setting up my glass here with some um, ice cubes. All you have to do is on your screen, look for the espresso that's already programmed with our snowflake. The snowflake mm -hmm. indicates that it's going to be a cold brew specialty. Now, can any drink go cold? Yes, you can program uh, only nine drinks, actually. Nine. Only nine specialties, yeah. Okay. But everything from espresso to coffee, even some milk specialties can be also offered in the cold brew. And we're going to do a flat white yeah. in a little while. Yes. Okay. So we'll do a flat white as well. So let's we'll start with a nice, strong espresso here hitting our espresso option with the cold brew this basically knows that it's going to course at a grind uh, coarser grind so when you have a cold brew you want to use coarser grounds so there's a lot of technology packed in this machine to prepare that but starting I mean, with the grind something really that you don't see on any other machine where you can set your grind size per beverage, right? Yes, yeah, so every single specialty can be programmed based on the specialty and how you want it to grind. So of course with our cold brew, we're gonna have it set at a coarser grind. Mm -hmm. If this was a hot espresso, we would program it to be a finer grind. So you can program each one independently. But you don't have to go change it. Now I've used, I've used a lot of automatic bean to cup machines like yes. this. Uh, from other manufacturers, it, and it, it's really difficult to change grind around. But you're, you can, you don't have to do a thing. Nope. So in, just in the program, nice. you can set it however which way you like. You know, this is featuring a new grinder too, the product recognizing grinder. So because I did a cold brew specialty here, it recognized to grind at that coarser grind to make that perfect cold brew specialty. So look at those uh, nice flavors here. You can see all the colors and the creme at the top. So go ahead and take a taste and let me know what you think uh, of that. I've cold had brew. a couple of these days. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting me well caffeinated. <laughs> It's almost the mm. weekend. Yes. Oh. What'd you think? I mean, it's just, you know, if you haven't had cold brew, I'm, you know, most, most people have. It's, yeah. it's really, really popular just because of the flavor profile. Now, yeah. what I, you know, I really like it a lot. Um, you know, everybody, we got a lot of other people here that were trying it this morning, and they're just, they're just, they got their socks knocked off yeah, by I mean, this. I mean, to do this in as quick as you do, because usually it's like a, overnight process to manually yeah. make it. It could take up to 24 hours. Yeah. With our cold extraction process, it's under, you saw there, just a couple, not even a minute on this specialty. Of course, for the larger ones, it might take closer to two or three minute range, but you know, what you're getting here is a nice mellow taste. Yes. It's, it's mild, it's yeah. light, it's Less very acidic, mellow. Yeah, it's easier to digest. Acidic. Very, it's a very, very smooth flavor. Yes. The, uh, I, I find it, you know, the, the flavor from the coffee, those, the, you know, those flavors, they come through so much more. Yes. Um, you know, if you're drinking something really hot, it's really hard to perceive the flavor until right. it cools off. But you're, this is you're great. You're enjoying it for a nice amount of time there. All right, Gabby, the espresso, the cold espresso, I really like that a good? lot. Now yeah. we're going to do a flat white yes. for the cold brew. So, so I want to show you, it's not only coffee, thanks again for preparing my yeah. glass here with the <laughs> ice, but we also have the option to do cold brew uh, milk specialties as well. So trendy flat white, everybody loves one. Right on my screen here again, hitting that snowflake icon. It knows to use that coarser grind again for my cold extraction process. And, and again, we're gonna get cold 
milk froth too, right? Yes. So nothing, nothing hot here is all. Yeah, what cold. happens with our cold brew process is that it's surpassing any heating element. So from the water to the milk, it's still going to give you everything cold, right? And then of course, adding as much ice as you'd like to give you that personalized flavor. You can add even some syrups. A lot of people like to add maybe vanilla or hazelnut syrup, any kind of flavor that they like. But you know, the coffee is so good with that little mix of the milk. You don't even need sweeteners. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. And the type of beans that you use is really important. So all of these different details add to that flavor profile. And again, you can see that slow process happening here, a little bit slower than our hot process, but yeah. what's happening is the water is going through those coarse grinds. So, you know, allowing it to come to that true bloom and have all that aroma and flavor in that cold extraction process. So, and, and now we're gonna get the cold milk? Yes, so now it's gonna the do nice the froth. cold, right? So that was our shot of espresso. Everything's fully programmable. So we right. have it set to this cup size, but you can program everything from the volume to the strength to the temperature and everything like that. So. You can actually adjust right on the fly as well. We'll add a couple seconds. We'll do about 12 seconds. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at that, how it blends. Yeah. You yes. know what's happening here. You just heard it transition from steam milk to milk foam too. This does have that automatic switch over. So you get, you get that little, you get that the little layers. layer yep. up top. But with okay. a flat white, it's actually blending everything. So look yeah. at the difference in that taste profile. So go ahead and I mean, there is such a, a difference. If you know, if you're looking at machines, make sure, check out the order that they do the milks. Cause right, a lot of, a lot of machines, they used to always do the milk first and right. you get like a cappuccino or something, but oh gosh. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. No, How's you know, that? You know, yeah. <laughs> I saw right away in your yes. face that that was delicious, that right? Is, that is really something else. It's just so different than a, than a hot flat white, but the flavor yes. is just so smooth. Right. Um, wow. And again, with that blending, like you mentioned about the milk specialty profiles, how it's prepared is really what makes them taste so different from each other. So yeah. not only between hot and cold, but also all the different variations, cappuccino, latte macchiato, all the trend specialties. So we're really excited to offer that, again, not only as a hot specialty, but also as cold brew. So let's talk a little bit about the design of the machine because this is not only does it make incredible drinks, but it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, right? I, I think so myself. So a lot of design features here. Obviously, this is our premium machine with the Z10, but we have everything from like this clear um, bean container lid. What I love about the clear design is that you can always see and be reminded of that fresh whole bean coffee at the top. Mm -hmm. But feel this, feel yeah. the premium detail here. You still yeah. have that aroma preservation cover to keep your beans fresh and that nice hefty lid there just to really really ensure that you're having your bean container sealed and keeping that fresh. And then the water tank. I especially love the water tank here with the wave design. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to remove that to show you you're familiar with our filter system. Now yep. we have this filter sleeve and this really allows it to blend in with the side profile of the machine, but also this wave design reminding the customer of fresh water. You know, I think of the ocean and nice yeah. waves, you know, having all this little detail. It goes even further than that. We have here a magnetic lid. So as soon as I snap this into place, you can probably hear it. It snaps right into place to ensure it's fully closed and locked there and ready for use. There's and really something about the tactile nature yes, of that. Yes, you feel and, you it. You know, it feels... Yes, premium. Yeah, yes. And then also with the concave design. So, you know, our Zet line is always been very similar to this body and feel, but now having this concave and those curves really give it that highlight. And then the chrome detailing. You know, mm -hmm. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about all this chrome detailing. It's almost like a car, right? You have <laughs> yeah. the, the vents at the top there to really regulate the internal temperature. And then you even have as far as on this uh, chrome cup platform, this piece here that makes sure that your cup doesn't slide around. So yeah. you can see here the texture. When you place your cup, you know it's not moving. You're not scratching, scratching your cup platform and everything's staying nice in place. And then of course the coffee spouts or a milk froth or a hot water nozzle, everything with that chrome detail. I just, I love the design of this machine. It's, it's truly a masterpiece. And I mean, you have the adjustable. Yeah. So you can go small to tall. Yes. You can do, you can do two of the coffee beverages, right? Yes, you could do two espressos or two coffees at once. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice if you're, you know, rushing or you're on the go and you want to do espresso for you and maybe your spouse or a friend, you can just do their two at once. So really time saving as well. Now, I, wa I want to do one more. We, I, we were in this morning and I want to do one more drink. Yes, tell me about it. The fresh espresso? Yes, okay. one of my favorites. We, we have to do that one. So we're going to do, what I love about this recipe before we get started is traditionally you would do it in a shaker, a cocktail shaker. Yeah. You'd have the ice, you'd have the syrup, you'd have the juice, and then you would have to shake it. With our Zet 10, because we have this cold extraction process, we can actually do it right on the tray here. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started on that one. You're actually going to help me out here a little sure. bit by just adding oh. some ice some there ice. for me. Okay. So nice fresh ice. 
like four or five here? Yeah, you could do a couple there. Of course, this is to preference. We like to do, um, you know, as many as you'd like, but I think halfway full is just about right. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that okay. looks great. And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can add any of your favorite syrup. So I personally like vanilla for my fresh espresso. Usually it's recommended to do a little bit of ice, a shot of vanilla syrup, and then... So and it's, oh, so we got, yes. can have the orange Don't juice forget. going? So okay. what is a fresh espresso actually? It's yeah. orange juice mixed with espresso. So at okay. first I thought to myself, I don't know is if it? I'm going to like that mixture. Yeah. But when you actually make it, it's, it's delicious. And it's great for brunch. You know, if you have oh, yeah. brunch planned or something like that, this is the perfect drink because you're mixing two favorites, right? So go ahead and add your um, orange juice. I add just about this much or so. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and brew a cold brew espresso because this is a cold drink. So cold brew espresso, again, always freshly ground. This is so unique about our cold brew is that you're using fresh beans and fresh water every time. It's not sitting in the fridge for 24 hours like a traditional cold brew process. Right. So this, the flavor is just unmatched. So right here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and increase it to two ounces of espresso. And you're gonna see it's so fine that all the layers stay put. And then what's great at the end is you go ahead and give it a nice swirl and you have a fresh espresso. Fresh espresso. <laughs> yes. No, so, I had this this morning. I mean, you guys, you made them from everybody, and they, yes. were, they it was delicious. And yeah, a it's, great, a great brunch thing. It looks beautiful too. Yeah, nice set. Good on. It's easy on the eyes, you know, and it tastes great. We already yeah. talked about how delicious cold, cold specialties are, but now giving this little add of orange juice gives it that spark of just even more freshness. It's great for summer. I mean, all seasons, but having this at brunch in summer is just so delicious. So, I can't wait Look for you to that. try another yeah. one. You can have this all day, I, I you know, <laughs> especially in summer. So no, very refreshing, and that's why I really wanted to do that, and it, it just looks great. It's really um, easy with the Zet 10. As I said, you know, traditionally you'd have to use a cocktail shaker or some other appliances to really get that mix. But mm -hmm. now with the Zet 10, you could see here. First of all, it's staying put. You still mm -hmm. have your layer of ice, your your vanilla syrup, your you know your shot of OJ, and then that shot of espresso at the top, and just a quick little blend, and you have something that you would traditionally have to do with multi steps. So everything's automatic with our Zet 10, as always. Program oh, perfect size to the cup. You gotta give this another try. I do. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. And there here, all the layers blending oh, yeah. together. All that right, give that a nice taste there. Oops. <laughs> What'd you think? <laughs> oh my God. It is very, it is very refreshing. refreshing. I mean, this is, this is something I could definitely do, um, you know, every morning. Quick and very, easy. Very, very summery in a way. Yes. Very, uh, really, really nice. Yeah. And what and I love about. you wouldn't expect, you know, you wouldn't expect, I don't think, it, it certainly wouldn't be the same if I was putting like a hot espresso in here. It would not it, taste we, the We same. would not get this, this flavor. And no. that's, again, that's, that's the big deal here is that the cold brew, it's not iced coffee it's not hot espresso over ice no it's the cold it's the cold extraction process this is exclusive um jura technology as well you know being able to do a cold brew in less than three minutes yeah there's nothing else on the market like it so we're yeah. really excited about this innovation this is groundbreaking technology and just to give you again uh, cold brew is so trendy right now everybody's yeah. drinking it especially in the summer but you know all year round and to have this option you know at home to not only be able to do hot but also cold specialties is really something so unique I, so I love it. Was it delicious? It yeah, was there, delicious. I can't wait to have one myself, but <laughs> okay. we're really excited. Yeah. Gabby, thank you so much Thanks, for taking us Mark. through the Z10. Yeah. Um, always, always a pleasure. And again, this, the, there's no other machine that's doing this, right? Nothing on the market. I want to reiterate, we are brewing yeah. with cold, fresh water. It's not sitting in the fridge for 24 hours. It's, you know, it's so intelligent and knows how to change the grinder to that coarseness for that perfect cold brew. And again, we're not brewing hot coffee over ice. Right. We're actually brewing with cold water. So I mean, I've seen a couple machines that have done, you know, we do the iced coffee. Yeah, but yes. it's, it's not, it's just, you could just let your coffee cool down and pour it over ice. Exactly. It, you're not getting the flavor that you're getting from exactly. a Exactly. And again, freshly ground. It's so freshly for ground every preparation, every I think that's one of the most important things as well. Yes. So I'm glad you liked it. Thanks so yes. much. You know, if you want to learn more about the Z10, we've got a lot yes. more information about yes. it. Uh, and we'll, we'll be taking other videos. We'll take it in deeper to show you how it really works, but it's so easy. Yes. So one of the things I really love about Jura is the convenience of the Jura products. Right. So that's, easy to use. Cold yeah. brew in under three minutes. One That's of awesome. a kind. <laughs> All right, Gabby. Thanks, Thanks so Mark. Much. Thank you.
So I have to thank Gabby for those drinks. They were delicious. The cold extraction process makes coffee and espresso that's incredibly smooth and flavorful. And the Z10 is one of a kind. No other bean to cup machine makes it. Use the links down in the description there to learn more about the Z10. And hey, if you love coffee, do be sure and subscribe. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. And do come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.